Well, I've always been fascinated by landscapes. And when I was nine years old, I had the idea of taking a sketchbook with me. And I made my first drawing on the spot. And it was just a fantastic experience. And that just inspired me. I went on doing that ever since. I bought a van because they are so incredibly flexible and adaptable. So I can carry all my equipment and it makes me a, a very mobile artist. With my mobile studio, I travel throughout Europe, but you know, I grew up in the black country and my roots are here. So I always return to the black country and I particularly am interested in panoramic views. I always work on location, exclusively on location. So I have to have an easel which I can carry around in the landscape and set up to make paintings on the spot. I make a lot of my easels that I use on the field. Some of them are quite big because I actually work four foot by eight foot on, on site. So my um, easels, portable easels, and my portable equipment is very, very important. When you work on the spot, you've got to work very, very quickly. So this special equipment ranges from very large paint brushes. I use rollers, scrapers, pieces of rubber, plastic, and, and I also use a spray gun. Well, of course, a lot of artists use canvas when they're working in oils. But of course, as I've got used to working on the smooth surface of hardboard, I've developed a technique which requires a smooth surface to work on. When you work on the spot, you know that the light will be gone in an hour and a half, for example. So you've got a time pressure, and it's this time pressure that forces you to develop all sorts of techniques of being able to very quickly abbreviate what you see and summarise it in just a few brush strokes. So virtually every single piece I do is done at one sitting. That's what gives you work a kind of energy and, uh, because you have to work so quickly. The place where I frequently work, which is Rowley Hills near Dudley, you've got fantastic panoramic views and you can see for about 40 or 50 miles. So you see these incredible weather systems, you see the seasons, how they change. The landscape is spangled with little patches of light that come and go and move across the landscape. I also work there at night and it's a most incredible sight, you know, it's really looking into the, the galaxy of stars almost. And I also find it quite intriguing to try and depict human activity by the results of it. The industrial areas, the residential areas, the busyness of the place. I've actually been coming up here to this spot since I was about 16 years old. So I know it fairly well really. Always changing, it's never the same two days in a row. I use a fairly limited range of colours, usually. You always have to mix your colours, you never use them straight from the tube, of course. So now I'm, I'm going to use the spray gun just to, uh, to get some of the lovely soft effects of the trees, and some of the hard edges of the landscape there, of the buildings. A spray gun, of course, is a totally different character to a, to a, a paintbrush. All these skills and bits of knowledge that you build up over time it tells you what kind of brush to use how thickly to use the paints um, how to mix your colors how to anticipate the colors and so on but i'm always experimenting with new techniques you see what an exquisite effect that is you know showing the edge of this uh, little field down here i sometimes uh, smudge off, use rag to smear the colours. Sometimes I even use rag to paint with, you know. If you look at a landscape or a painting through half-closed eyes, it enables you to evaluate the colours much better. It cuts out all the irrelevant detail that distracts your attention. Painting isn't just simply about 
reproducing exactly what you see. It's about interpreting what you see, but it's also about the, just the pure joy of the effects that you can get with paint, you know, the technique.